Welcome back to Chamber Exchange, our final segment. I want to thank our sponsors who helped make the show happen, Bank Hometown, and this year St. Vincent Hospital has joined us uh, as well. I want to thank them both again for their support uh, of the show. And in this final segment, we have our, as our guest, Ben Minsk, who is the owner and founder of Route 12 Pickle. Ben, welcome. Thank you, Tim. Well, I had a chance uh, last week to join uh, uh, my colleague, Jen Stanovich, who uh, is the executive director of the Wachusett Regional Chamber of Commerce, one of the affiliate partners chambers that we uh, get to work with at the Worcester Regional Chamber of Commerce. And we had a great ribbon cutting in uh, West Boylston with <laughs> your new facility. <laughs> yes, we did. It was, it was a lot of fun. So this pickleball craze is not unique to kind of central Massachusetts. Pickleball is kind of taken off across the country. So maybe if there's somebody who's living under a rock and hasn't <laughs> heard of pickleball, maybe you can tell us a little bit about well, what pickleball is. Sure. Well, I mean, it was a game actually that was developed back in 1965 out in Washington State by um, a family playing the game. They created it amongst themselves. And um, for those who've never seen it, it's kind of like tennis, kind of like ping pong played on a small court, um, either indoors or outdoors, predominantly outdoors, because there really aren't that many indoor facilities around as of yet. And um, it's a great sport. It can be played by anybody at any skill level. You don't have to be a super athlete in order to do it. And that was kind of the draw for me that um, I had only picked it up about two years ago. And um, I fell in love with the game and um, I've been enamored with it ever since. Right, and everyone asks a question and, and uh, I'm gonna ask it, so where did the name come from, <laughs> Pickleball? L the lore is, is that um, this family that was playing had their, out had their dog outdoors with them and started chasing the ball and the dog's name was Pickles. And so it became Pickleball. And, and thus the logo, with, uh, which, which you've got in, proudly wearing on, on your <laughs> shirt. So um, started playing the game, fell in love with it, that's one thing, but huh. being a, uh, an entrepreneur, somebody who has uh, you know, created businesses, you said, hey, I think there's a business opportunity yeah. here. So tell us about kind of that story. Well, I saw that um, the public courts where people generally have been playing on were just starting to become more and more filled all the time. Yeah. And you know, the difficulty of getting on a court can be you know, an issue at times. But in addition, the fact that we live here in New England and you know, there's such a, a thirst for this game, there are so, limited, so few places to play this game indoors. Right. And the places that you can play it are really done as an afterthought in these facilities. You know, whether it's in a gym at the Y or if it's at uh, the JCC, it has a couple of courts, or um, you know, town halls in Northborough, for example, offer it. There's really no pure play pickleball right. club like, like this in existence. And so you said, well, there's a- I said, there's I'm gonna roll the bones here and I gotta go for it. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna say, well, I'm gonna make one. So, yeah. so the, you know, the, the facility uh, on, on Route 12 in, in West Boylston at, at the Wachusett Plaza, yep. the address is 184 Boylston Street. We had this ribbon cutting and this is not uh, an add-on or something that was fit into a pre-existing, you basically gutted a significant portion of this plaza, uh, uh, and and and, and have you, you've created eight pickleball courts yep. and a whole facility yep. that's designed to support people who play it and socialize before and after. Yep, absolutely. Uh, I was fortunate enough that the place was already gutted. It used to be the Salter College facility, okay. and uh, that had laid dormant for about two years, and um, I was really lucky to find the spot because originally I was going to put this out in Westboro. And um, thankfully, I didn't. And Will Kelleher of Kelleher and Sadowski found this uh, property for me, and it, it was just a perfect fit. You yeah. know, the location of it, of where it sits in Worcester County, you know, very central to all of Worcester County, um, not only to the big towns to the east, but also it reaches out to the west, and I have people coming in from. Lemonster and Fitchburg and Gardner as well to come play. Yeah, you got great access to 291, yeah. 90, Route 12, everything right yeah. there. Yeah. And great parking and amenities yeah. for you know, people if they want to stay and have a, a beer after yeah. or a drink or socialize. And then there's the plaza with some restaurants yeah. and coffee and et cetera. And I also have in, in, in the facility, if I can you know, just talk a little bit about yeah. it, is I have a, um, a function room. So okay. people can do you know, private activities there, have a party, have a, you know, a birthday party, have a team building event. And you know I can couple that 
with the room and, and the courts, and I have a relationship with uh, 185 Mill, the restaurant across the street. Right. They can come in and do catering. So, you know, coll collaboratively, we can put together a really nice offering in that regard if somebody wanted to do that. Yeah, yeah. And um, so, eight facilities, uh, people would r rent them. So, kind of the hours of operation, and uh, if, if Say somebody's interested. I've never played. How do they learn? Are sure. there workshops? Do you, you oh, know, yeah. how, how do you engage people? I'm sure different levels of play. Well, the first thing I ask people when they come in is, is have they ever played before? And f for those who haven't, I you know, suggest to them that they may want to take a lesson because you're going to have a whole lot more fun playing the game once you understand the game a little bit better right. instead of just getting out there and hitting the ball back and forth like you're playing patty cake. Right, it. right. Um, but I don't push it, I just, you know, offer it to them. Um, we have advanced lessons for more advanced players as well. All of our coaches are all certified in pickleball. There's a pickleball certification process that you can go through. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we have leagues, we have clinics, we have drop-in play. So we've got a whole array of offerings that, you know, would probably fit anybody's particular interest or level. Right, right. And if somebody wanted to do a little prep work before they wanted to you know, walk into the facility, which we want to encourage people to do because, it, like yeah. I said, it's, it's very uh, open and inviting, well lit, uh, you know, just kind of friendly. Uh, they can go online to kind of, you've got a website. Oh, sure. We have a website. We have a Facebook page. We have, <clears throat> excuse me, um, an Instagram page. Um, you know, this is the way business gets done now. You know, it's all done through social media. Um, I, I'm sure... You know, the TV station would love to sell me airtime as well, but... Um, <laughs> we got Route, yeah, Route 12 Pickle. So it's RT, the number 12, RT12 Pickle, P-I-C-K. RT12 Pickle. RT12 Pickle. Yes. Uh, the the nu number. Yes. RT12 Pickle, P-I-C-K-L-E dot com. Correct. So people can go on there, as you've said, also on Facebook and Instagram, and learn yes. about programs, leagues, sign-ups, Private court rentals, we do that as well. Episode. You know, you may want to come in and just play amongst your own little group of, you know, right. four or six people. Just rent a court and play by yourselves. Hourly rentals? Yep. Okay. Yep. And, uh, uh, and we have a membership and a non-membership. So you don't have to be a, a member necessarily to come into the facility. There are benefits if you are a member. But Got it. Um, we have great senior pricing. Um, one thing I like to emphasize to people, for example, is that if they have... Uh, health insurance, typically health insurance will give you a reimbursement for a health club membership. Right. And pickleball is now being embraced by the insurance companies as well. So right. what may seem perhaps a little bit high initially for a membership, you can now get that, you know, a re reduction for your insurance benefit. Yep, yep. Because you're active moving and that's proven to be good for health care, uh, uh, pushing, keeping health care uh, uh, c cost uh, keeping them down, sure. people staying active yeah. and, and, and uh, moving around. So Ben Minsk, uh, the founder and owner of Route 12 Pickle. If you want to learn more, rt12pickle.com, Route 12 Pickle. Uh, really, congratulations. The facility's great, and uh, thanks for being on. All right, Tim. Thank okay. you so much. Yes, Appreciate sir. it. Okay. Right. Thanks for being with us, and thanks to our sponsors, Bank Hometown and St. Vincent.